Hey guys, Claire here, and I am very pregnant, and we are in the new nursery. Uh, so this was originally the one guest bedroom that we then had to convert into the baby room. And what's kind of funny is the baby isn't even gonna sleep here for at least like the first two months because we're just gonna have a snoo in our bedroom. But for when he is ready uh, to be on his own, we have this lovely room. And I also thought too, for just like breastfeeding and tummy time and all that good stuff, it'd be nice to have like kind of a area for that. It also really helped me get kind of like mentally prepared for the idea of a baby. I was so fortunate to have so many amazing partnerships for this space. When I found out I was pregnant, I actually reached out to a bunch of my favorite brands and Luckily, a lot of them wanted to collaborate, so I'm gonna make sure to highlight those for you guys as well. So first up, I am actually in one of the purchases that my mom made for me. This is a rocking chair. This is from Restoration Hardware. And I was that person who was really insistent, like, I don't need a rocking chair. I'm good. And my mom looked at me and she's just like, no, you're having a rocking chair. And honestly, really glad I listened to her because it's a chic rocking chair. So the area behind us, this actually was the guest dresser and I just converted it into the changing area. And then I just like having green in a room. Um, so for me, I loved getting a little fig tree in here and I actually used one of the Pottery Barn pom-pom baskets and Pottery Barn is one of my partners for today uh, for kind of a plant holder. I thought it would look really cute. Above the diaper changing area, I have this beautiful little mobile. So I got this mobile from Etsy and also don't worry, look in the description below. I'm going to include a bunch of links. Also, there's going to be a blog post. So make sure to check out the kitchenkitchen.com for all the details on how I put together my nursery. So here's all of the diapers, all of the creams and everything like that. And then this I actually got from my Aussie family. Buster thinks that this is his toy. Buster thinks all of the baby toys are his toys. And I think he's in for a rude awakening <laughs> that this is not a room just filled with awesome things for dogs. One of the other things that I love in this room, this little shark rattle, this is from my mother-in-law, Sharon. She, one of her hobbies is deep sea diving and she loves sharks. <laughs> so I figured this is perfect for her to get for the baby. And then this was my Father's Day present to Craig. I went to Shinola and got two notebooks made with my baby's name on it. His name is James. And I thought it would be really nice for us to have baby journals because I'm a terrible journaler. I really do not keep track of that kind of stuff. So I thought I really want to, I want to record, you know, kind of what the first year is like of motherhood and, you know, tracking all the little moments. So I thought this would be a good way of shaming us into doing that. So this brings me to my first partnership, which was with Pottery Barn Kids. And I love these. This is the Cameron bookshelf set and they did all the storage solutions for this room. So the bookshelves, all the baskets, and I just switched out the knobs from Pottery Barn for the knobs from Rejuvenation. And what I love about this whole setup is it just is really flexible. Like you can do cubbies, you can do market kind of baskets, you can do drawers. It was really great. I was able to kind of think about how, you know, how do I want to bring it together and what do I really need in this room? The books that I have in here are kind of a fun combination. These actually are all childhood books for me. Down here is Child Craft. What I love about these is it covers everything from Mother Goose to classic fairy tales. It's just a really wonderful collection to have if you have kids. And then up here, I have all of my little brother's books. So I actually saved all of these because I'm kind of a hoarder. Mostly it's like American history. So it's, you know, like Johnny Tremaine and, uh, you know, George Washington and the cherry tree, all that kind of stuff. And then all the way up here, you can see are my Oz books. This is just a portion of the collection. I probably have I don't know, I wanna say almost two dozen of them. Uh, there were 41 Oz books written, and those are the books my dad would read to me. Uh, growing up, The Lost Princess of Oz is probably my favorite, and The Gnome King of Oz is my second favorite. But uh, yeah, there isn't just The Wizard of Oz. They're some of my favorites. I cannot wait till I get to read that to my kids. So this brings us to The Crib, and also my comic lack of knowledge when it comes to motherhood. I texted my cousin Rachel, who has uh, one son and then another on the way. Our kids are actually gonna be two weeks apart, which is crazy. Um, and I texted her, what goes in a crib? Because in my head, I'm not kidding, I was like, 
is there a duvet? <laughs> is there like how many pillows? Idiot. Um, so nothing is the answer. It's like, you know, a prison cot, basically all the way down to the bars. Like there's literally nothing in it. And this also brings me to one of my other partnerships. I really wanted to do a mural on the wall because I thought there's only really one time in life that you can go fully whimsical and childhood is that. And I just thought it would be so lovely to have something like this. It just kind of, I don't know, to me, it immediately creates a sense of wonder and I love it. This is by the company Anawal. Uh, so I've been a huge fan of theirs for a while and this is their Nuage One, um, which is fantastic. And it's a pre-pasted wallpaper. So it's really easy to put together. You basically just add water and that's what it looks like. It's fantastic. And then for the lighting, I reached out to Rejuvenation, who's one of my partners for today. And Rejuvenation is my go-to. You guys know, if you've seen any of the other house tour videos, there's Rejuvenation in every single room. And I love, love, love their style. So I went with two different types of light fixtures. I did a cedar and moss pendant lamp, uh, which has this really beautiful soft light. And then I went with this sconce that I absolutely love. Believe it or not, it's different manufacturers, but this is Italian uh, and it's an LED engine, which is crazy. Um, so apparently you never have to change the light bulb ever. All right, moving to the other side of the room. So this is the second column of Pottery Barn Kids Cameron bookshelf. And this one has more storage in it in the sense that I have these really awesome baskets from Pottery Barn. I love the pom-pom ones as well. My dad, when he was a little boy, um, his mom took his baby shoes and dipped them in bronze, which I guess was a thing. It was a common thing. And so these are my dad's shoes. And so you would you know, do the shoes with a frame and then put the baby photo inside. This is um, a baby photo of my mom, which is so sweet. This is this gorgeous um, pop-up book that I've actually featured a couple of times because I'm so obsessed with it, uh, by Harold Lentz uh, for Pinocchio. And I thought it'd be so fun to have a pop-up because um, I love books and bookmaking. I kind of got that from my dad and I wanted to show it off, but you know, I also don't want a baby destroying it. So there's that. I'm, I, I was that kid though who collected, I collected paper doll books and never cut the dolls out. I would just look at them. Like, and then I would draw, like with tracing paper, draw on top of them. So I'm such a weirdo when it comes to like, what do you mean you get to touch the book? <laughs> so I'm sure I'll get over that eventually. The artwork in here I had to completely change over. Originally, it was all pinup girls. So that did not seem appropriate. So I got rid of the pinups and replaced them with these egg lithographs, um, which I had from an old German encyclopedia. And then my mom got me these baby animal photos and it's a baby animal photo of a kangaroo. And then these are photos from a photo booth, uh, Craig and I at our friend Whitney's wedding. And it was, we went to a wedding while I had my belly. And so I thought it'd be cute to include that in here. So continuing on the Australian theme is this amazing company that I have been wanting to work with for such a long time. Um, it's called Armadillo & Co. And they make the nicest rugs. I have always admired their lookbooks whenever they come through. And so when I was putting together the nursery, it seemed like a really great opportunity to work together. And so I love this rug. It is so soft. It doesn't even feel ruggy, if that makes sense. It feels like a giant, really thick blanket. So what I'm excited about is because it's a flat weave, it's gonna be really easy to take care of. So I can you know, use my vacuum cleaner on it. I can spot clean it really easily. And it's not pure white. So even though I'm sure on camera it looks white, if you get really close up, it has this really wonderful variance of detail of creams and grays and things like that. So it's really fun. All right, I'm curious. I, I guarantee you if I squeeze the kangaroo, Buster's gonna come in because he thinks it's his toy. All right, let's see if this happens. Oh my goodness. It's not for you, I'm so sorry. Oh. Look, he's so sad. One of the other things that we got from my mother-in-law, Sharon, which I love, is the rocking you. Buster doesn't really know what to make of it because it's exactly Buster's size. The first time we unwrapped it, he thought it was alive <laughs> and ran away and hid from it. Looks like he's gotten used to it a little bit. Right, baby? Yeah. Well, the tour is actually not finished. I have one more part of this. So you've seen the room, you've seen the nursery, and I actually got a lot of really fabulous items from Stoke, kind of for just 
the baby's life. So feeding, uh, travel, the whole thing. So I wanna share that with you guys too. All right, let's go. So I partnered with Stoke, which is one of my favorite companies. I was honestly stalking them on Pinterest for a while because I just love the sort of form and function of what they do. They seem to be able to balance aesthetics as well as utility really well, which especially when you're trying to incorporate, honestly, like I feel like a baby should be folded into the home. It should be part of the family, not this kind of you know, children's island kind of thing. And so what I love about Stoke is everything seemed to really go with kind of sort of our family's style. Mochi! The pets are obsessed with baby stuff. It's so funny. <gasps> Mochi! What I love about the Steps High Chair is that you can convert it as your child grows. So whether they're just, you know, a little baby, first starting with their, you know, first bites, going all the way up to a small child, you can basically dismantle this thing until it perfectly suits them. Plus, it looks so cute. It goes perfectly in the kitchen. I love the simple like white oak legs with the gray. It's so nice. This is the Trails Stroller. And what's so cool about this is Craig and I do love going hiking quite a bit. And Craig's family spends half the year in Montana. So for us, when we were thinking about getting a stroller, we wanted something that would look really great on the sidewalk at the park, but also on the trail if we you know, ended up going on like a family hike. Same thing, this actually has a lot of convertible functions. So you can go from having an infant to having you know, a, a fully grown, basically toddler. It's really great for that. And then I love the fabric because it's completely weatherproof. So they have options where you can make it more of like a sunroof. There's, it came with a mosquito net, which Craig and I were like, where are we taking this baby? <laughs> so it's basically ready for whatever situation you find yourself in. This then brings me to the car seat. Nuna is a fantastic company and Stoke collaborated with them to create this car seat. And you can see it's the same look and feel. I love this design. Once again, super convertible. So it has different kind of padding and layers depending on the age and weight of your child. Um, it's also really lightweight, which I like. I do not have a lot of upper body strength. So I very much appreciate the fact that I can lift this easily. It also clips into the strollers. So if I wanted to, I could have just like the stroller base and the car seat and basically be ready to go, which is fantastic. So anyway, I'm feeling really lucky about all the fabulous companies that I got to partner with and I'm super excited. I'm nervous, obviously, but definitely excited. Anyway, this was the tour of the nursery, etc. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of what I was putting together. If you want more details, please, please, please check out thekitchykitchen.com. I did a big blog post with all the information there, so you can get all of that in the links as well. But please comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I really wanna hear what you guys think about the nursery and how it came together. I would love to hear any advice you guys have on like the first couple of months with baby. Is there anything that you're like, you don't need that or something that or like that I really need? Um, I would really appreciate that because I am still doing my shopping and still putting everything together. So it's exciting. And all the animals are excited too, right Mochi? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I don't know, the next time that we film, uh, you guys might, to, might get to meet little baby James, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, I will talk to you later and thanks so much. Bye.